Donald Trump is calling the large groups of Central American migrants headed for the United States border a national emergency. ABC correspondent Matt Gutman is traveling with that caravan and is joining us now by phone. Matt, where are you now and what will happen when you reach the United States? Hey folks, I'm in a town called Huixla, about 50 miles from the Guatemalan border, and we are very far from the U.S. border, about 1,500 miles to McAllen, Texas, uh, about 2,000 miles from where you are in Arizona, 2,400 miles or so to Tijuana. So they have a long way to go. I'm not sure if they're going to make it, certainly not in a caravan of 7,000 people. People are exhausted from having marched 50 miles in two days, and I think uh, there's also a concern of a humanitarian crisis here. People are getting sick. Um, a little boy apparently died from heat exhaustion uh, on the way yesterday. We saw another man crushed to death, 20 people evacuated by ambulance to local hospitals. Infections are becoming rampant here, so there is definitely concern about the safety of this group. Sure, and you know, when talking about the migrant caravan this week, President Trump said this. Let's listen. You're going to find MS-13, you're going to find Middle Eastern, you're going to find everything. And guess what? We're not allowing them in our country. Matt, have you seen any of what uh, the president was talking about in this group? You know, I would be shocked if there weren't MS-13 in a group of 7,000 people from Guatemala and Honduras. Um, I'm pretty certain that there are criminals in this group. However, I've not seen any evidence of Middle Easterners. I spent seven and a half years in the Middle East as a correspondent. I speak some Arabic. I uh, definitely haven't seen any evidence of that. I've also seen a lot of misery. There are uh, at least 2,000 women and children in this group. You see families with strollers just marching down the highways here hour after hour, sweating in the unbelievably sweltering heat here. Um, and, and that is really, I think, the thing that you see most is just how difficult it is. And everybody says here that what they face ahead, you know, they know they're not going to be welcomed in the U.S. They know the road is treacherous. They know that they're going to suffer. But whatever it is, is not as bad as what they left behind in Honduras. Corruption, um, death squads by gangs, and, of course, poverty. So one more quick thing. Yesterday you tweeted that today Mexican authorities will decide whether or not to allow them to continue or block them at some point. Any idea on what they will decide? I'm glad you asked that overnight. The Mexican authorities said that, that at some point soon they're going to make a decision. They basically said they won't allow them to leave the state of Chiapas, which we're in right now, which gives them a grace period of a couple of days or so. And at that point they will start rounding up, they say, these migrants unless they actually apply for asylum here in Mexico using the prop channels. They won't allow them to abuse Mexican law any more. The question, folks, is how are they going to round up 7,000 people and women and children? They've shown so far that they desperately want to avoid a violent clash with these migrants. And uh, right now, I don't think anybody has an answer to that. Okay. Thank you.